Some soldiers may be thinking about visiting our nation's rivers and streams this summer for a little R&R. &R. In Colorado, troops need to make sure they don't reel in an Arkansas darter, which is native to this Rocky Mountain state. Environmental correspondent James Williams joins us with details of how training at Fort Carson can be affected by this threatened species. James? Thanks a lot, Steve. Colorado has listed the Arkansas darter as a threatened species since the mid-1970s. So wildlife specialists at Fort Carson have been working to increase the darter population in hopes of protecting not only the fish, but the ability for soldiers to train. It's the mating season right now, I guess, spawning. Bobby Day is searching for one of the nine traps he set earlier. This one's loaded. They did this one with a... Uh, Hot dog bun. 25 years ago, there were only three known darter populations in Colorado. Now there are four on Fort Carson alone. I see a big one right here. Big is relative. The Arkansas darter grows to just two and a half inches. It's a cousin of the walleye and yellow perch. The males are bright orange underneath during the mating months of April and May. Look at the color on this one. The Arkansas darter is a candidate for protection under the Federal Endangered Species Act. Well, it's just one of the small pieces of an ecosystem, and once it's gone, it's gone. See the bread in there? Richard Bond and Bobby Day conduct surveys to see how well the population is growing. We don't want it to make it to the federal list. If the Arkansas darter were to make it to the federal endangered species list, training would suffer. You can't do that if your installation is is all cordoned off because of endangered species or for cultural reasons. Richard estimates that the darter population on Fort Carson has grown from about 200 in 1980 to nearly a thousand today. We do have an obligation to the American people not to allow these species uh, to disappear. What Richard and Bobby do to protect the Arkansas darter has no significant impact on training because it's only a small area soldiers should avoid. The trainers have always cooperated on Fort Carson to to assist us in these efforts. Well, isn't this nice? James Williams, Fort Carson, Colorado.